But let me ask you something. How many times have you searched your email inbox to find a lost message? Or have you ever placed a message in the ground label? If you waste time dealing with those email chores, you're not alone. As a small business person, your email messages contain requests for work, invoices, client questions, and more. And if you know how to organize your email in a more productive way, you're going to reduce a lot of the stress. Hi, I'm Sergio Sala, and welcome to Battletop Plus. In this tutorial, I will provide you the detailed instructions on how to use your inbox in a more productive way by learning how to create labels, folders, and tabs in Gmail. Before we continue, remember that you can get professional templates with Envato Elements, which gives you unlimited downloads of presentation templates such as these word print templates and more elements like website themes or photos. To start, Gmail is a label-based email system. Your inbox, your spam, your trash, and even your draft folder, they're all technical labels in Gmail. And that's why we're going to start by creating a new label. Just go in this menu on the left, go down below where you find that it says create new label and the new label box this place. Just type the name of your new label and then click the create button. We're going to name it Embattle. If you wish to nest the new label under another label, just click the checkbox that says nest label under and check another label that you want to use. In this case, we're not going to do it. Simply, we're going to click on the create button to create a new label. And now we're going to apply the existing label to a new email. So in order to do so, we're going to open the email and we're going to open this one. And then we're going to click the label icon at the top of your email. And then here you can choose the label for your email. We're going to click on Embato, but also you can create a new one. Let's say Embato new example if you want to create a new uh, label. But we're only going to use the Embato label and we're going to click on apply. And now, if you go back to the inbox, you're going to see that the Embaro Elements email is now with the label Embaro. It's also important to color code a label for better organization. So in order to do so, you check the menu on the left and you find the label that you want to change the color. Find the three dots, click on it, and the first option says label color, and just choose the color that you like the most for this label. And now you're going to see that the Embaro label is changed to this bright orange. And now we're going to learn how to manage the Gmail labels. On the same left menu, you click on more and you go way down where it says manage labels. So here you're going to find all the labels that you have options, the send, the draft, the all emails, all of them are here and you can just choose which one you want to see. You can hide the start, you can show it again, you can uh, show the important ones. You can hide the send. It will depend on how you want to organize it. And here are your labels that you created too, so you can hide them. If you don't want it in the left menu, or you can show them if that's how you like to be organized. So now we go back to the inbox and it's going to explain you how to use Gmail labels like folders. Because if you want to know the difference between Gmail labels versus folders, is that some labels are already set up somewhat like folders. The spam folder, for example, it already bypasses your inbox and primary tab and everything that is already spam will be labeled and nested inside the spam folder. So you can use the other labels like folders. Let's go back to the same message and here there's an option that says move to. You click on it and then you can move one of your emails to the label and make it as a folder. So every time that you get this message, it will go directly to this area instead of uh, going to the primary tab. So now let's learn how to use the tabs. You don't actually have to use the three default tabs that you can see on your Gmail inbox. If you don't like them, you can customize it the way you want. Just go to the gear icon and click here on the inbox types and just click on customize. And you're gonna see all the tabs that you have the options to choose from. So you can even have updates when you have forums, you can even only have primary if that's what you want. Click on save on the way that you want your inbox to be seen. And because I disabled the promotion tab, all of the battle elements started to show up in the primary. So if you're one that like to organize the promotion tabs in a different way, so just go back, customize, click back on promotion, save, and now they're going to go in the tab of promotions. But if you are used to an inbox without tabs, you can use the inbox settings screen to set up one in Gmail. So just go to the same gear icon and here on the inbox type, you have all the options of the way that you want to see your inbox. The common one is the on red first. So we click on that. And as you can see, 
And now it's gonna divide it by the unread emails and the read emails. Let's say I'm gonna open this one that I already read it. And so go back to inbox and the email that I open is gonna be moved now to everything else because I already read it. But if you decide to return to the Gmail default view, just go back to the gear icon and in the inbox type, go back to customize and it will change quickly to the typical inbox view. Another way to keep your email inbox on Clutter is to archive all messages. The very first step is to know how to archive a message and it's pretty easy. So when you go to one of the emails, just open one of them and there's an option here that says archive and click on that and you're gonna have your email archive. And then if you wanna find your archive messages, there's two ways. You can use the Gmail search bottom or on the left menu, there's an option that says all mail and then you're gonna find all the emails that you archive. If you accidentally archive a message, you can return it to your inbox. So find the message that you archive and then in the options here, there's an icon that says move to inbox. Just click on it and then go back to your inbox and you're gonna find it back there. Once you start organizing your Gmail inbox in a more clever way, you're gonna spend less time stressing out with your email messages and more time being productive with your work. Remember, you can scrap to embattle elements to access millions of created digital assets, including everything you've seen and thousands of video courses and tutorials on Embattle Talk Plus. Subscribe now to the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Sergio Sala, and don't leave without checking out the Embattle Talk Plus channel and subscribe if you want to learn more about Gmail productivity. Ciao!